got to see was great on TV when we were, when we were growing up because unfortunately we never really, we never, it was, we thought it was kind of a thing Michigan and Ohio State played, but now we've kind of put our stamp on it and this is, uh, to come out here and play, you know, both times, you know, you, you see this, the stadium is completely red and that's just a great feeling. Tell us about this team. You've had a chance to watch this team uh, several times this year. Uh, start with the offense, you being an old lineman. What, what's impressed you most about watching this group and, and the number of points it's been able to score this season? Well, the thing that first impresses me is Bucky's able to do all those push-ups at home. Great off-season conditioning program. It doesn't seem, you know, whenever there is a home game, it just never seemed like it was close. The, the dominance of the offensive line and then when you can mix in you know, a Heisman Trophy candidate, Monty Ball, and you know, when you bring in a quarterback like Russell Wilson, it, it's a it's a tough team to beat, and I think that's going to be the case this weekend. You guys know what it was like to be a, an underdog in big games, and I, and I guess Wisconsin is, is an underdog. A lot of people are having high expectations of Oregon. You guys kind of fed off of that a little bit back in your time, right? There's no question. I think today we, you know, Coach Alvarez was talking about how, you know, there's an announcer back when we played UCLA that said we were the worst.